before installing the guardrail production line. Please complete the following steps. 1. Make sure that each part is arranged according to the layout on the drawing. And the specific spacing is based on the data marked in the drawing. 2. Fill each gearbox with gear oil. After unscrewing the top screw, inject the gear oil. When the gear oil reaches the middle position of the indicator. 3. Fill each hydraulic station with hydraulic oil. Open the cover on the top of the hydraulic station and fill in hydraulic oil. It is recommended to use number 32 or number 46 anti-wear hydraulic oil. There is a ruler on the side of the hydraulic station. When the hydraulic oil reaches the middle position of the ruler, stop the injection. In order to avoid repeating the installation steps, I will explain the same steps at once without repeating them. 1. Connect the cables of all motors or sensors to the corresponding control cabinet. The contact at the top of the cable will be marked with letters, which correspond and uniquely correspond to the label on the electric control cabinet. 2. Connect all oil cylinders to the corresponding hydraulic station with oil pipes. The positions of the oil cylinder and the solenoid valve of the hydraulic station correspond one to one. The upper tube is connected to the upper tube, and the lower tube is connected to the lower tube, and the ends of all oil pipes and solenoid valves are marked with numbers, and oil pipes with the same number are connected. 3. All the parts connected with screws. The composition of the screws is shown in the figure. Put in the small gasket first, then the large gasket. 4. As shown in the video part below, handle all the cables connected to the main power supply of the factory with their head and tail connectors. The connectors at one end of the control cabinet UT4 to 4 copper connector is used for 4 square millimeter cable, and 60 a copper connector is used for 6 square millimeter cable. Connectors at one end of the main power box use a 60 a 150 a copper connector. Position of the end of the power cable connected to the control cabinet can refer to the corresponding CAD connection diagram of the control cabinet, or use the simplest method to connect to the three leftmost ports on the bottom row of the control cabinet. When connecting for the first time, there is no connection sequence. 6. After turning on the power, if the motor is found to be reversed, switch the second and third connecting wires of the power supply in the electric control cabinet. Now we start the installation from the decoiler. 1. Connect the hydraulic station and the decoiler cylinder with oil pipes. 2. Connect the hydraulic station motor to the decoiler electric control cabinet. 3. Connect the hydraulic valve sensor to the decoiler electric control cabinet. 4. Connect the press arm pneumatic valve to the air compressor. 5. Connect the position sensor to the iron block or iron sheet. The sensor that controls the start and stop of the decoiler. When the coil touches the sensor, the decoiler stops. Connect the leveler to the power supply with a power cable. The next step is to install the hydraulic press. 1. Fix the four corners of the hydraulic press with the base with screws. 2. Fix the limit switch. The specific adjustment of the fixed position will be explained when explaining the use of the machine. 3. Connect the three sets of oil cylinders of the hydraulic punching machine to the hydraulic station with oil pipes. 4. Insert the aviation plugs one by one according to the actual label. 5. Connect the pneumatic valve on the servo feeder to the air compressor. Connect the electric conveyor with screws. Then connect the power cable of the conveyor to the electric control cabinet of the hydraulic press. As shown in the video, first connect the forming machine to the gearbox part with connecting blocks.
then connect the card and shafts.